Hi guys, welcome again to my channel and uh, today we will update uh, PHP from uh, the version 7.3 to 7.4 on CentOS 6.5. Well, uh, we start with uh, PHP version to show the actual version of PHP and uh, as you can see I have uh, PHP 7.3 um, on my uh, system. So uh, to update um, PHP we have to do different things because uh, um, in this version of CentOS uh, um, PHP 7.4 is not present on the official repo uh, on the Remy repo so we have to uh, build PHP manually. Uh, okay let's start. The first thing that we have to do is uh, remove uh, the PHP command. Okay, so we have all packages of um, PHP uh, that uh, I have to remove. Press yes. Okay. Now we have to um, digit uh, RPM. QA pipe grep PHP to find uh, other packages. Okay, and we have uh, uh, this uh, package and uh, we have to remove it with uh, the command rpm menu e. And we have to copy. Okay. In case of uh, um, packages uh, have um, dependencies, you can use also RPM A. Mm, no depths. This uh, um, command can delete um, all dependencies of a package. Okay, again, perfect. So now we have to find other PHP file okay and uh, we have to delete it uh, ref user lib 64 PHP okay and also this okay ref, ref ATC PHP dot D. Okay. Well, after that, digit RM dash A PHP. Okay, so good. And uh, the last command to completely delete this version of PHP uh, is hash D PHP. Okay. So now digit php dot view no, the dash view. okay um, an important uh, um, uh, info that uh, the bash has to show you is that php command is not found okay because uh, if the message that the bash um, showed you is not this message, um, you can have different problem with the installation of PHP 7.4. So uh, the command uh, has uh, to be not found. Okay, well, now we have to um, start with the PHP 7.4 installation and um, to do this thing we have to update our packages. updates 
are completed so digit yun install epsilon get lib xml to devil and tar okay and uh, after that yum group install development tools okay so in this way um, uh, we have uh, all the components that uh, PHP uh, requires to uh, build uh, the um, source code. Very good. Now um, we have to choose uh, our uh, um, installation directory. In my case, OPT. And well, um, first of all, we have to download uh, and build uh, SQLI3 because uh, um, this library uh, is not uh, um, um, accessible in uh, um, CentOS 6.5. Uh, so, uh, digit get HTTP uh, qlite.org slash okay sqlite autoconf one two three four five dot tar dot so. okay in this way we have the auto the sqlite autoconf in our um machine okay uh, the compress the file okay jump into the directory okay and now dot slash configure make make install very good now uh, we have uh, sqlite um, 3 so we have to um, move sqlite uh, um, library information under the correct directory so sqlite 3.h under user include sqlite 3 h okay move sqlite 3 x dot h under user include sqlite exec Oh, I'm sorry. Sqlite three. Okay. Move Sqlite three. See under user. Lead sixty four. The config under Sqlite three. Dot pc. Well, now um we can uh, go out of the directory we can uh, delete uh, the sqlite autoconf tar file and also our directory perfect 
Okay, the last thing that we have to do is download um, PHP 7.4. Um, to do it, we get HTTP and one dot php dot net distribution slash php 7.4.11 tar dot okay now we are downloaded the, the bundle very good okay on tar PHP. Okay. Very good. Jump into the directory. Okay. Dot slash configure. Run now. Make. Very good, now um, the make command has finished and uh, we have to digit the last command make install, okay, and uh, some seconds and php7.4 is ready. Very well. So, uh, if now we uh, digit php -p, we can see the new version of PHP on our distribution of CentOS 6.5. So, um, thank you for watching uh, and uh, subscribe to the channel. Um, I will see you in the next videos. Thank you so much.